What's up you guys? So today I have a collective fall haul for you. It's a mini collective fall haul. These are items that I've picked up over the past like month and a half and I feel like because I haven't talked about them in one whole video for you guys, I don't want it to become like too late and then I'm like, oh, I don't want to talk about it anymore. So I finally decided to just sit down and film a quick video for you guys. I am filming at night so the lighting is not that great. It just got off of work. I mean, this is just how I look at the end of the day. So I definitely apologize for that, but I really wanted to get some content up for you guys. I've been super, super busy this week and going forward the next month, I'm going to be even more busy. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I will still be able to have the energy at the end of the day to just come home and film something for you guys. So this is gonna be the first fall haul that I'm doing for this year and I'm super excited. And if you have been following me, you know that Fall is my all-time favorite season to purchase items and just the clothing and the fashion. It's just amazingness. So like usual, if you happen to be new here, welcome. Uh, what was that? My name is Lisa and I do a ton of fashion videos and I would love for you to join my YouTube family if you love fashion as much as I do. So if you'd like, then hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload. I also have an Instagram and that's where you can head over and see how I style everything here that I talk about on my channel. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about this item next to me because I kind of want to wear it through the video and it's this really, really cute, Baker Boy hat from Windsor and it was $14.90 and I loved the pinstriping on this. I feel like it's like very, what is it called? Conductor. It's very conductor-ish. I love this whole Baker Boy hat trend. I used to have a real vintage Baker Boy hat and I can't find it for the life of me that I picked up from... Uh, iguana on Ventura. If you are a Valley native, you know exactly what thrift shop that is, but it is an amazing vintage shop and I had a real one and I can't find it anywhere. So when I saw this, I loved it. I loved the striping and the cute little gold button detailing with the rope detailing on the front. I just thought it was one of the best ones that I've seen recently out there on the market and I just thought it was cute and unique. Okay, did a little adjusting there and yeah, it's just really, really cute. I feel like wearing it right now. So the next item that I'm going to share with you guys is probably the holy grail of faux leather biker jackets I have ever come across in the whole faux leather jacket world. I mean, literally, this is the most amazing one that I've ever seen. And it's this faux leather biker jacket from Zara. Now, Zara usually comes out with some of the best faux leather jackets that I have seen, but because I'm such a real leather jacket junkie, I never really take the plunge. But when I saw this one, I was like, this is perfect. Now the leather is really, really soft and it's like a pebbled leather and I love the silver hardware detail and just everything about it. The detailing um, of the buckle being fixed to the jacket, which is really, really important to me because it's so annoying when these are not fixed and they're just through hoops because all day you're adjusting it and it's like, falling and you're trying to make it straight and it's just not fun at all like my blank nyc jacket that's like the one thing i hate about it but this jacket is so amazing i love this like paneling detail it's like a true biker jacket this is the epitome of the exact thing that i want in a real leather biker jacket but i haven't found it yet i haven't found that perfect one yet that's not like three thousand dollars from like saint laurent but this one is gonna have to do until i do find that perfect one and i just thought it was perfect so i really hope they still have this i'm gonna link it below and some other ones that they had that i really did like but oh my gosh it's just amazing popping it on over your shoulders or over anything really and i did get this one in a large because i wanted it to be a little bit more of a boxy fit and i wanted to be able to put you know thicker sweaters underneath so absolutely love 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 this jacket the next piece is sort of random because i didn't buy it my boyfriend's little sister mishy actually gave it to me she's the most selfless human being i've ever met in my life like she's just always thinking of other people and she's always giving me that she's just the cutest thing ever she's basically my little sister too uh but it's this cute moth hole or faux moth hole distressed sweater from Topshop. I have no clue what season this is from. I don't know where she got it, but she was like, do you want this? It's so you. And she's so right because it's all distressed and cute. I do believe I saw something similar somewhere online. I'm going to link it below for you guys. I thought it was really, really cute that because I don't think that this is something from a current season, but I wanted to share with you guys because it is new to me. And I think it's super, super adorable. It, it's in the size US 6. And I love that it has this it's like not baby pink, it's like 
I don't even know how to explain it. It's like the slightest hint of pink and then it has like white striping detail on the sleeves. I just thought it's so cute and it's cropped so this is something I could for sure wear with like my high-waisted Levi's wedgie fit jeans or whatever high-waisted jeans and I don't know it's just thought it was really really pretty and I wanted to give it a mention. Okay so next is a top that I got from H&M. I am so in love with this. How cute is this? Is this striped little long sleeve. It's like cream and black really really soft top and my favorite part obviously is the lightning bolt patch right here on the chest i got this in a size small and this was 9.99 it looks like there's a sticker over the oh i think this used to be a different price but it wasn't in the sale rack it's so weird do you see how the sticker i think it used to say like 17.99 but now it's 9.99 but it wasn't in the sale rack so i don't know maybe it wasn't priced correctly or what happened but i just love 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 this little top it's super super soft and you could just wear this in a million and one ways and i've been loving stripes lately like sickly obsessed i think stripes are always a very classic thing to go to but lately they're just heavily on my mind just always thinking about them so i really love this so the last clothing item i'm going to share with you guys is a sweater that i got rid of like five different versions of because they were just really tired and i wasn't really wearing them as much uh, and i ended up giving them to charity and i really wanted a new one so it's this marled gray really long cardigan with front pockets this one in particular is from a cute little boutique by my house called fashion q it's just a very fast fashion cheapy little store that i like getting staples from and this one in particular i'm just super in love with because it does cover your butt you can wear it with leggings and a t-shirt you could just pop it on over workout clothes just pretty much anything and it just sort of goes and i have a weakness for this type of knit where it's like black and white and like light gray all woven together i don't know i think it's called marled i'm not really too sure but i just love that effect that it has like a peppered it's like almost like a peppered um sort of look and i don't, I don't know i just thought it was really really cute this is something else that i know for a fact there's so many cute ones online that i'm going to link below for you guys if you're interested in maybe this type of sweater so Who's not excited for sweater weather? Everyone's excited for sweater weather. It's actually one of my favorite things that I love purchasing for the fall time because being cozy is life. Okay, last but not least is a handbag that I ended up getting and I'm in love with the handbag but I'm even more in love with the price that I got it for. You guys will not believe it but I got this handbag for $21 on eBay. 21 two, one. Isn't that crazy? So I'm going to share with you guys the bag, tell you guys a little bit of the story, and you guys know I do that with all my handbags. So let me just show you the bag because I always seem to ramble on. <laughs> just, I'm so obsessed with this. It is this beautiful, it's coming off so pink. I knew this was going to happen because my camera does not pick up the right color of certain things. But this is a beautiful quilted leather bag from Marc Jacobs. I believe it's called the Quilted Single Shoulder Bag and this is in the color Taupe Blush. So it's not coming off. I don't know actually. I have to see when I edit this but it's it's more of like a grayish nude with the slightest hint of blush. So most of you know that I've been so obsessed with getting like a nude bag. I really wanted a nude flat bag for them for a moment. I was really sure that i was going to get the gucci marmont in the flap in nude but now i'm actually thinking i want the medium size in black i don't really know i'm still so unsure so this is why i don't like taking the plunge on things like that and then on top of that when i picture myself with a nude flap bag as far as like a really high price point designer bag i couldn't really make up my mind and i kind of am leaning more towards maybe finding a really good vintage chanel in a beautiful taupey color or wait until the one that's out this season is on the pre-loved market for like a good price but anyways that that's for flap bags when it comes to really casual bags like the teddy blake eva bag in the dark beige i want that bag so bad or like a balenciaga bag i see myself wearing those in nude more than I would see myself wearing a really expensive nude flat bag. So I wanted something that maybe was more of like a moderate price point. 
and I remembered this style from 2008. I was just like browsing the internet. I'm like, what was like a good bag that I could maybe find on the pre-loved market that had that nice nude taupey color? And I remembered this bag. I remember Kristen Cavalieri always being shot by the paparazzi and she had this bag in black and it was so cute. And back in the day, this was like kind of pricey for me at that time. I mean, it's still even, I think it retailed for like $800, $900, I think, I'm not sure. It's still kind of pricey. Anyways, long story short, I ended up finding this on eBay and I got it for $21. So they put it up for auction or bid. I'm not really quite sure what the right eBay lingo is for $20 and it was a bid for seven days. So I watched it for about four or five and then the last three days I sort of just put in a $1 thing. I'm like, I'm not gonna win. Someone else is probably watching it. And then I remember looking at the last day. I'm like, wait, there's no one else watching this. It usually tells you how many people are watching an item. I was like, there's no one else watching this I possibly could win this for $21 and I did I ended up winning it it's so beautiful I'm obsessed with the chunky chain I remember seeing this bag at like Nordstrom's and Neiman's back when they were popular and they were still retail I remember like drooling over them I'm like that's like so perfect because it has you know the quilting with the chunky chain and I feel like he was one of the first designers to take a look or something inspired from Chanel and adding the chunky chain so even before Gucci you know so I love 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 this the chain is so beautiful and it is such a nice roomy sized bag. It has a front pocket here, a zipper pocket here, and a zipper pocket back here. And it was like pretty, pretty brand new. Like you could even see the interior. Looks absolutely beautiful. And they also gave me like the Marc Jacobs, you know, paperwork in here. I think there's like, yeah, the tags, tags and things like that in here, which I think is really nice. And I'm just still in shock for the price that I saw this. I looked on Poshmark, other listings on eBay, Tradesy, Fashion File, and they're all pretty much around like the $150 mark up to like $400. I've seen some for $500 that are in really good condition. I was willing to spend like $150, maybe $200, but I sort of just, I went with my gut and I'm like, let's wait and see if someone puts it up because I feel like they're always like randomly up on the real real and fashion file and stuff like that. So I'm super stoked that I ended up getting this for 21 bucks. I feel like this is gonna fill the void for me as far as a nude flap bag goes for quite some time. I mean, I think it's just super duper cute. So yeah, I really love it and I can't wait to use it and you guys let me know what you think. So if you are in the market for, you know, maybe the Gucci Marmot bag, I think that this is very, very similar obviously it doesn't have like the four you know address adjustable straps granted this size bag I prefer just right under my arm just you know as a shoulder bag versus as a crossbody bag I, I don't think I would ever wear the Marmont medium as a crossbody bag I don't like the way that looks so I think this is perfect just as one so if you are in the market for a Gucci bag or maybe a Chanel sort of looking sort of style bag I would research this I'll link below some that I think are really beautiful and that you guys should check out if you're interested all right you guys so that is it that was my really quick mini collective fall haul I hope you guys liked it I do have another fall haul video coming up very very soon for you guys and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.